Good morning! Welcome to Natasha Makes. It's me this morning and I am making stuff because Jane's on holiday. We let her off, didn't we, Jem? We did. Jem's in the corner. She needed a rest. Yeah. She did need a rest. She works jolly hard, does our Jane. She jolly need. hard. So, um, obviously, on Wednesdays, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. No, on Wednesdays, <laughs> <laughs> we make quilts. That's the one. That's the one. And um, see, Gemma, I have watched some films. You have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes you happy, doesn't I it? I am shocked. Uh, <laughs> this has not been during the um, boobs, guns and aliens period of your life. No, it has not. No, 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 no. <laughs> For anyone that's wondering, that, that's when it was, um, yes, Stephen's turn to pick a movie. Any movie. Um, yes, there we go. So <laughs> get those words in quick, you know, so that Facebook objects. <laughs> Lovely. So, 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 today it's me. Um, what am I making? Possibly a mess. No, 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 no. We decided yesterday, uh, by popular demand, the moth. Tracy Perk's moth is in the building. Ba -ba. Here it is. We didn't have those fabrics, so we have done our own take on it. <laughs> uh, which meant me and Gemma basically rifling through the Natasha Makes stash and seeing exactly what we fancied um, trying, whilst trying to keep true to Tracy's imaginings. And shrieking with much joy as we went. There was the much choices. shrieking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And general mirth. Mirth at the mirth. <laughs> myth, myth. <laughs> <laughs> what did we decide to call him? Merv and the Merv. Merv and the Merv. <laughs> Merv and the Merv. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, that was what happened last night for us. Um, and he is rather fabulous. I've realised that I've managed to place him so that I just look like I have wings today, uh, which is fabulous. He, yeah, he's rather great. And apparently I'm not to tell you that you could do it in different colours to make a butterfly because Tracy's going to do a butterfly. <laughs> she will, she will. She will, she will. Although, she will. I mean, quite great. She did suggest many wondrous things, including leopard print fabrics on this here mirth. To leopard get different print. types of mirth. Possibly, you know. Once hang on, hang on, hang on. You mentioned that now. Well, you know, there's all sorts of options you could do, isn't there? Craziness, craziness you could do with the mirth to make different types of mirth. We're yeah. not going to be able to stop saying mirth <laughs> for the rest of the week. No, hang on, hang on, no, no, no. You said leopard print mirth. I know. You did mention that yesterday. <laughs> did we have leopard print fabric? I'd have for found the some. I'd what? have created some by this morning. I'd have been sat there all night with a marker pen. Yeah. <laughs> Our stitchy witch isn't here. You couldn't have waved a stitchy witchy wa like wand and gone, here it is. Here's the fabric. Here's what we need. Do you know what? It would have been another one of those situations where um, I'd have to explain to Emily that I'm not magic. Yeah. And, and you know, just incurred the wrath of Captain Small, who was not very happy in the night anyway, which is why I'm a bit late doing everything this morning, because she had opinions. Actually, no, my car alarm went off and woke her up. That was part of it as well. <sighs> I don't know, I think the sensor on my bonnet's gone a bit. And it keeps telling me that it's upset. Uh, morning, Sue. Morning, Jay. Morning, Claire. Um, oh, and Gemma. She says, good morning, Natasha and Gemma. Good morning. Where is it? Love that butterfly slash moth. 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 Merth. Merth. Merth in the merth. Um, I don't know if Tracy or mine is calling him Merth in the merth. You do get boy butterflies and girl butterflies, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? You must. Oh, now oh, we've done it. Now Margaret, we've where are you, Margaret? Still, we? Where's Margaret? Margaret. She knows all these things. Come on, Margaret. We need to know about butterflies. Google I can't go to the wife. butterfly farm in Stratford to find these things out after having a very awkward situation when Freddie was quite young. I took my eyes off him for a second. Yeah, no, I can't, I'm too embarrassed to go back. They live about a fortnight, I think, don't they, as well? Less if, less if Freddie's there. Not going to lie. Oh, yep. Dear me. Yep. I can't go back. Oh, Tracy's with us. Morning, and Tracy. She, she doesn't mind you calling him Mervyn, Maybe which is great. She also well. loves it when you stand in front of him and have wings, which you love it also, don't you? I do, but I was trying to be respectful <laughs> so everyone could see her pattern. Uh, <laughs> and if I'm really careful... You can have antennae as well. <laughs> if I stood there, it would work perfectly. It would work perfectly. <laughs> Who else do we have? We've got Mary. Good morning from uh, Welsh Mary in Yorkshire. Welsh Mary, how did you end up in Yorkshire? Did you take a left turn? Always lovely to see you brightening our day. Oh, I think she's given us rainbows. Nothing. I've got rainbows on. 
Um, Gem, I have to admit to this is the one outfit I don't normally do this. This is the one outfit that Captain Small has a matching. Yes, on. yes, yes. Has she worn hers today? No, she hasn't. She wore it last week and oh, complained okay. a lot about it. Um, morning, Sean. Morning, lovely people. Can't wait to see your colours. Love your wings. <laughs> Thanks. I just spread them. Love it's a beautiful thing. She says, yes, you do get male and female. Ah, oh, there Thanks, we go. Sean. Thank you. Kerry says, morning, all. Hoping to watch the show today without my eight month old um, getting into everything and anything. Nah. It's not really going to happen, though, is it? To be honest. Eight months. They start to be mobile. Yeah. Just wait till they get to two years. Then they have opinions as well. Uh, morning, Elizabeth. Um, that's Christmassy full of mirth. Yes. <laughs> morning, Karen. And morning to Pam. And good morning to Jan and Helen. Oh, there we go. Oh, Mervyn is a great name. Uh, Jenny says, morning, Natasha and Gemma. I'm going to be prepping material for my next project whilst watching. And um, uh, Sean, at least you know about butterflies. Someone was always going to. I'm going to have to flip a coin. Both you and Lisa live uh, live at the same time. Oh, sorry, Cass. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Debbie says, morning, ladies. Off to my sewing class this afternoon, making my lampshade kit finally. Yay! We'll send pics on Facebook. Do you know what? That lamp has had more comments. I'm pointing to one that you can't see on, on screen. I'll move it to here. There we go. That one. There we are. Everybody loves that lamp. Um, Ali F, good morning. Morning, Tasha and Gemma. Hello from yesterday. I forgot to say hello because I was working. Yeah. Loving Mervyn Moth. Um, good morning, Trisha. Good morning, Anne. Good morning. Um, morning, girls. You made Steve laugh the other day when you said about bitey paws. He... <laughs> <laughs> he now tells our big uh, black cat she has these. The, it's true. It is true. That was Emily. She did describe, um, yeah, it was Mortimer. Who is out, Gemma? He got out. Oh. I know, the oil man knocked the door this morning. And, and that was it. I opened it. Stupid. I mean, how stupid of me to open the door, right? Oh. <laughs> he was gone. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh. It's very stressful when the cat gets out. Very. In our lives, very stressful. Because Fre Freddie was parading around the kitchen this morning saying, Oh, he's my best friend. <laughs> Please don't get run over again. Right. Um, I'm going to show you some. What am I going to do this morning? I've got everything set out in like piles, really mm. organised. My goodness me. Um, so Tracy has only just discovered Stripology rulers, and I don't know how you would even set about doing this without one, if I'm honest. Hats off. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, complete <laughs> hats, hats off. off, but wow. I mean, I'm going to give you the gift of time, Tracy, and, you know, Stripology rulers are the way forward. The other thing is, I am due in any day now, exclusive to Natasha Makes. Natasha Makes um, washi tape. Yes. Which I suddenly realised this morning would have been fabulous for this project because I couldn't find my washi tape. It's still in my craft room at home and not here. And do you know why I need it? Why? Because Tracy then cuts other squares at three and three eighths. Oh. You need your washi tape. And the washi tape will be in, hopefully, today or tomorrow. It was being posted. Or a Fabi Ruler with the... Uh the little separate marks. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, this is micropore tape. Yeah. For, you oh. know, which I do keep here for when I cut myself or stab myself with needles or other things that, you know, or if I have also been attacked by the bitey paws. Yeah. Malcolm which doesn't have bitey paws, let me tell you. He's a good boy. Malcolm is a good boy. Right. Do you want to see all of the kits? Because we've got an offer on. Our today's special offer is, Tracy very kindly said, that if, is it buy one of her patterns, get, get one, one half, half price? price yeah. yeah, I just suddenly thought, gosh, that's mm. an amazing deal. So I just needed to check that, that we had got mm -hmm. that right. Yeah. Buy one, get one half price. Do you want to see the other patterns that we've got then for you? Because um, we have got, and this was what started off our love of Tracy. It was so dear. Our Tracy love. And this is one our lovely Jane made, isn't it? Yeah, so Jane pieced this, the traditional. Can you see that if I hold that up? Gemma says I'm not very good at holding yes. quilts up. No, you're doing a good job of that one Thanks. today. Is that because you can't see me? No, it's fine. That's a good, that's a good, yeah. That's well normally done. when I'm doing a good job, isn't it? When you can't see me. There you go. It's fine. 
it's quite a big one, this one. So, 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 we um, had a look to see. How big is it, actually? So the bumblebee? Yeah, he's a big, he's a big boy, I want to he? say he's 55 by 55, but let me just quickly check that because, you know. But lots of you loved him. And so we've, we have redone the kit in two different colourways. He is, he's 55 by oh, 55 inches. Oh, hang on, that's not the one I want. No! Come back. There we go. Oof, we went. We went, we went. I bet everyone panicked for a moment there. That little change of screen. <laughs> oh, they were excited. Yeah, he was, he's 55 by 55 inches. So this is the pattern. We love Tracy's pattern. Um, I think it's her niece or someone that, that sort of designed the patterny bit. Um, obviously, it's Tracy's pattern, but... Yeah, you see, this is it's all really handy, and then you tick tick it off as you as you get it done. Tick 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 tick, and so you just you get really organised with it, and then as you do each line, you tick it off. So if you do have to go and answer the door, or if you do have to go and you know like pick up kids or something really inconvenient, then you've got that. Tracy's patterns are just absolutely perfect for beginners, aren't they? They are absolutely fabulous. There's notes at the back then. Well, so yeah. And people who want to quilt by hand as well. You know, you could yes, do this one. You can, you can. Do you want to see? So this is going to be your background in all the greens. So we've tried to get this as close to Tracy's original one. And then, ha, huh, obviously the black for that one. And then we've got some, for the bee body, you've got some lovely salt batik. But we've gone posh wings. Really Do you want to see the posh wings? Like super posh wings? Oh, not again! Come on! <laughs> oh, it keeps sticking. Come on! There we go. All the graphics. All the graphics. Just not in the right order. <laughs> Never. <laughs> at all. <laughs> look, 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 look. Um, Wiltshire Shadow. Liberty. Wings. Look at that. Posh. Posh beauty. beauty. I mean, that's surely the queen bee, wouldn't Gorgeous. you say? Gorgeous, definitely. Do you know what? I have to admit something to you. What's that? I've never actually been inside Liberties. Have you not? No. Oh, I I suddenly like realised the other day we sell so much Liberty fabric. Yeah. And yet I've never actually been. I'm going to do that at Christmas. I'm going to take the kids. I'm going to take them to Liberties. Oh, and I might touch stuff. Maybe I won't take kids. Maybe, yeah, maybe not. Leave them at McDonald's or something. Not on their own, like <laughs> with with a suitable adult. <coughs> or Hamleys. Hamleys is just around the corner, isn't it? Oh, well, that would be dangerous. Mm. That would cost you probably more than it would cost you in Liberty. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. That is also very true. Um, right, right, right. Let's have a look at this. So, if you are more of a pinkly, pinkly, purpley kind of a person, I've got no words today. Um, well, I have, but they're just in the wrong order. Pinkly purpley. We've got pinkly purpley here. You pinkly might want a purpley. pinkly purpley background for your yeah. In which case, but then this is all mode of grunges. They're beautiful. We have gone all out. Again, you've got your Liberty Bees. It's like the Liberty Bell, isn't it? The Liberty Bees. Um, and then you've got your Salt Batik there. So lots of gorgeous textures in this. This was the original... This was the original pattern that we started off with. It was. The, um, the bumblebee actually came because one of Tracy's friends was having a grandchild, I believe, and she wanted a bumblebee cushion making. Oh, yes. Um, so she made the cushion and designed the bee in squares and half square triangles um, in one inch finished squares. Yeah. Diddy no. diddy. <laughs> um, which she did <laughs> not enjoy, I remember her no, saying. No, no, no. And yeah, it was about 18 months later that she revisited the pattern and upscaled it, made it into a quilt pattern. And this was so popular. So this is, us. yeah. It's crazy popular. And this is one of the really beautiful things about this is that you can upscale it or downscale it. So if you want it bigger, obviously just whatever if you want it smaller just make your square smaller mm. i would then really recommend that you do go and take a little look at the um quilters grid for sure uh, we should send tracy some so she can have a little go yes. with it. i am going to quilters grid this today for the simple reason that i want you to see it come together very quickly i have not had and i will completely put my hands up for this i've not had the time to piece all of these together mm -hmm. 
what Quilters Grid allows you to do is to put all of these out and because you're adhering them as you go, you can double check that you've got it absolutely right rather than doing it, hang it up and go, ah, uh, got one wrong, um, which we love. Do you know what else we love? I finished it. Look. Hooray. We need, we need and a, a bottle that you haven't. <laughs> haven't uh, drunk previously. Drunk, yeah, amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a rifle, good and, good and hard to find that one. Yeah, but I'll put another one in there, look as well. Yeah. It's a little Bordeaux, that one. Yeah. Uh, right, shall we have a look at then the stag? Now, we did this in Lewis and Irene's, didn't we? Wow, and I absolutely. think we've done this, have we got this on a special deal? I want to say we've got this on like a special price. Let's have a look. I think we might have. So this, and um, what happened was this came in, it was called Deer, wasn't it? Yes. Do you remember? And we got all excited because then we thought we can do the stag out of all of the stag fabrics. And that appealed to me because, you know, yeah, that's Bumbleberry's like. Deer. Perfect. It was Bumbleberry's Deer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they are the fabrics that you get. This is the pattern there. And then this was, I demoed this on the show, didn't I? And yes. this is done. I haven't finished it, I have to say. Well, I mean, it's finished, but not finished. It's pieced, but not yet sandwiched. And, and I just, I need to cut, I need to cut the back bits down. But that is the size of him. Beautiful, isn't it? I love him in this colourway. So do I. I've got this at home. I've got this at home, ready to make up. He's just gorgeous. I he love really it. is. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because just all those, and just, just the hodgepodge of the different colours behind. Fabulous. Really worked for me. Um, and you see, the nice thing about this, Gem, is that when I've pressed open all my seams along the back there, I'm just, I'm just going to put some, um, blah, 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 some fleece on the back. Oh, nice. Because it's already got that slight substance, substance mm. yeah, from using the uh, quilter's grid. It's all good. It is all good. Now, um, I've got new fabrics for you as well today. I'll get onto those in a minute. Let's finish off all of these patterns. So this is another pattern that you could be getting and going, oh, half price. Thank you very much. I don't know why I dropped a curtsy on that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, you don't have to. It's fine. Now, obviously, our little Tomte. What was the other name that, that they're allowed to be called? Gonk. Gonk. Yeah. I kind of feel like it shouldn't be. <laughs> I feel like, that, like, is that like a rude word or something? I no. don't know. A gong. It's an actual word. Actual word. Hopefully what Tracy is Tracy will pop along and tell me gonk. that I am, I'm right. I'm <laughs> not just being awful. But he's a gong or a, yeah. So the Tom, tom the Tom Tay mm -hmm. are basically Father Christmas's helpers. They are. They are. They are. Let's have a little look. We've got him in two different colour imaginings. So for those of you that are going, well, what is this Tom Tay that you speak of? He's this little chap that we had, we've had up for the last couple of days. Now, all of these are done in exactly the same way. OK, so I can demo one and you'll know how to do all of them. Because this is Tracy's style and we love it because it's perfect for beginners. Get yourself a stripology ruler and you'll be fine. There we go. I love him so much. I know. <laughs> he is just fab. And the nice thing about it is that you can quilt them really easily, just diagonally. Yeah. We have to thank that there, uh, John Cole Morgan, don't we, for introducing us to... Um, we do. Sophie Tracy. Yeah. Right. Right, right. So, let's have a look at these colourways, shall we? Because you can do him pretty much as Tracy has... We've just got a different um, rim of his hat colour, haven't we, on this one? Yeah. So you've got all the greys, as you've just seen him. Nice little pink nose there. That's for his shoes. And that, that kit will make him pretty much, that's the closest we could do to how he is, you know, there. But, 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 where is the pattern? What, the Tomte pattern? Yeah. Hmm, they were all layered up, weren't they? They were all layered up, but I don't know what I've done with it. Because when you open it, when you open up the pattern, oh, it's under it's here. Ah, there you go. 
There's a picture of his hat, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that kit does that one. But, huh? hello, what's happened here? Yeah, so if you want to do him with a red hat, then we've got you this. So, and here you've got that beautiful star fabric for the background. And then you've got grey for his, I was going to say pyjamas, he's not wearing pyjamas, his outfit. And then you have got this beautiful paisley for the rim and the bubble. And then you've got a slightly darker shade there for his beard. And then you've got, the, so we've gone with the paisleys. You know the paisleys that we had on Monday? We've gone for those paisleys. So beautiful mode of fabric. You're going to have a mode of tomte. And then his shoes and his nose. How gorgeous is that? Was that your favourite, Jen? I love him. I just love him in general, in all colourways. <laughs> but I Any love, colour I way. love the paisleys. The paisleys so bring a depth to it that is really super beautiful. They make him luxe, I they feel. They do, they do. Mm -hmm. But it might be that you've got like a couple of grandkids and you want to do one one way, one the other. You know, beautiful. Because we are getting to that time of year where you, you have to do the same, don't you, for each for each child or grandchild or whatever. It's the law. I remember my mum sort of always making sure that we all had exactly the same. She was good like that. Can Aww. I just show you? Gorgeous. Yeah. Look at those paisleys. Aren't they beautiful? And then you've got the lovely stars in the background. Now, we were really careful with the scale here as well, just to make sure yeah. that because of the size, that when you cut them up, they would still look fabulous. They still look fabulous. There we go. And that is your pattern. Fabulous. I'm going to put him in the middle there. Sandwiched. And then, of course, our moth kit, which is um, currently in the light box. Oh, marvellous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll well done me. Shout, see if we can get um, that. And then, and then, and then, but this is the pattern. And this is my version of the pattern, which we printed out on not very good quality paper, which won't be like yours. And this is what I'm working my way through this morning. So, yours will be on lovely, lovely, lovely paper, but you can see I'm just, actually, do you know what? I have, I've done those and those and those and those and those. And I did cut all of those and those. It's like I did my homework this morning. And you just tick them off as you go. So I've done these. I haven't trimmed them all back. I'm in the middle of trimming them all back. And I've just got to finish off my green and ginger triangles. Okay. I know, right? And then it shows you how to make your half square triangles. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And then we get on to this. It's very satisfying having a list to tick off. It really is. Off. It really is. We do like it a lot. But, I mean, the thing is, right, I did maths this morning. I'm not going to lie, Jen, there was maths. Because I just, when you're looking at this and it's like, right, okay, cut 10 brown squares, 26 ginger squares, 94 beige squares. And you sort of go, <gasps> 94 beige squares, okay. And then 18 cream squares, that's all right. And then a 318. <laughs> and you're like, what? I can't cut that. But you know what? I kid you not, I had it done in 10 minutes. Stripology is your friend. Not even that. Not even that. So this is the kit because I know that you've all been going, oh, what, what, what colours did you go for? We have tried to keep it as true to Mervyn Myth's colours behind me. I don't know why. Why did? How did we start? Why can't we say his name properly? I don't know. How did that even start? Um, Auntie Lizzie said, you should do the mirth and wrote it like mirth, M-U-R-T-H, and it just made us start Aunt saying Aunt Lizzie Crangle. Mirth. Mirth. <laughs> and we were off, weren't we? Yeah. There was much mirth over the mirth. <laughs> mirth, mirth. Mirth, mirth. Set us off. Um, so. As you usually do, Auntie Lizzie. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Lizzie Crangle. Uh, we have got, for your delight and delectation, right? If I show you which bitch which, uh, we have gone for a lovely soft um, misty blue, which is basically green, right, in anybody else's world. It's just that's what the spies call it. Stunning though, isn't it? It's gorgeous and goes with so many people's decor. That's that's the really nice thing. For the body and for the binding, you've got spots. We love this. Um, and then 
for the gingery bits, the bits that are called ginger, we have got a lovely bumbleberries. So we bring in a little bit of texture in. And then for the whitey cream bits down there, we've got the paisley in there. Beautiful. And then this is your beige. It's not actually beige, is it? It's, what was it called in the end? It's like a mushroomy colour, but it's not. Hang on. I can't remember. You know when you know it, but you don't, you can't say it. It's on it. the tip of your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we've got. <laughs> and that's our colourways to work with this. So we're going to see how that's going to work cappuccino. out today. Cappuccino. It, yes, it's a spectrum oh. fabric in cappuccino. It is a spectrum in cappuccino. <laughs> right. Fancy. So there are just a few little things that we need to look at when cutting this kit. Because, because, because. Um, how do we cut so many strips? Oh, Gemma's squinting. No, What's I'm only matter? squinting because I'm answering lovely questions. Your oh. lamp, your lampshades. Oh, Patricia's, the lampshades. Patricia's got a new house, and you know she wants to make some lampshades. Oh, Patricia, you've these got are to. your drum ones, aren't they? And they are. They're the big ones. The they're largest. the four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Those forty, the forty inch ones. Forty centimeter. Forty centimeter ones. Yeah. Got forty inch. Be massive. <laughs> Good <laughs> living. <laughs> that could be your new <laughs> home. Could you imagine? Like, woo. Uh, right. So, 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 so. Two and a half inch squares. That's what we're looking at throughout this project. Everything comes back to being a two and a half inch square, which is fabulous and really lovely and easy. If you took it down to a one inch square, of course, it would become basically a cushion, wouldn't it? Maybe like a big floor cushion. So you could try that. Once you've got the pattern, you've got the pattern. I don't think that Tracy will mind. Tracy, do you mind? Um, right. So. How are we? Something weird is going on with my um, my iPad this morning, Jen. Gremlins. Well, I mean, maybe. It's a little bit of witchy woo going on. In, well, yeah. Know, in Jane's, Jane's absence. Isn't here. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what's going on. Right. Stripology ruler. Right. You have all seen me demo this, I'm sure, a million times. But, 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 I just wanted to show you when you are doing a whole strip like this, how we're going to look at it okay so first things first it's folded off the bolt and then folded again in half you can make sure that it's folded absolutely accurately and that is absolutely perfect and then we're going to put our one of our bottom lines along here so that our fabric is in line all the way along there you want to make sure that you're going to cut off just that first little edge there so you always cut at zero so I'm just going to hold down there. We've got our inbuilt non-slip grips um, on the ruler. That's why we love creative grids. And it just means that when I put my blade into the little teardrops there, it's just going to cut it perfectly. I cannot go wrong. Just cannot go wrong. And because we've gone with two and a half inches, we've then every time there's a two and a half inch measurement, creative grids are put a little square. So we don't even need to do maths. Gemma, do we like to do maths? No. No, we do not like no. to do maths. So I'm going to put my blade in and I'm going to push away and I'm going to cut again at five. And then seven and a half. Yep, great. There's a square. So I know in I go. Ten. Fabulous. Away I go. Twelve and a half. Yep, thank you. And you can see this ruler is not moving. We do have, it's fair to say, the June Taylor one, don't we? That, but it doesn't have the non-built grip. I know, and we just... It, it it's it's the reason that we have it mm -hmm. is because you don't have to fold the fabric again. It's wide. It's wider, so it's, it's useful for us when we're doing kits. But day to day, I'd go stripology any day. Always. There you go, there's that little bit there. So, what we then have is this. We've got all of our little strips cut. Now, this is my top tip for you. Have it on a cutting mat that you can spin or turn, all right? If you have got a nice new blade in your, um, in your rotary cutter, then this is what I would say to you to do. I'm a little tidy up, layer everything up. Oh look, there's my masking tape. Get that out of the way. More prep, get that out of the way. Or 
just do it on a rotating cutting mat but obviously mine is still at home well done me so move your board not your fabrics realign bear in mind you've got your salvages along there we're going to cut those off so make sure that you cut far enough in that you don't want to get those salvages now i've got a fish scars rotary cutter um, I call this power mode, right? But Gemma laughs. Um, because you can, sp you can spin this. When that's shut, you can spin this so that it acts just as a normal rotary cutter. But for me, as soon, and you can also have it at various angles, depending on whether you're right or left-handed, you can have it, which helps, you know, with fatigue and stuff like that. But when it's over the top of itself like that, and it does look a bit weird, not going to lie, it does look a bit weird, but when you press down, you can see all of my weight is going directly over there, all of the pressure, which means that I can cut through a lot of layers. So in I go, cutting through there, two and a half. I've got everything lined up. I haven't moved them, so I haven't had to spend ages realigning everything. And this, Gemma, 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 Gemma is how... In basically five minutes, I had cut over 300 perfect two and a half inch squares. With not even an element of smugness. Uh, no, there was a lot of smugness. <laughs> not going to lie. There was like huge <laughs> smugness. And then I thought, I must show everyone how to do that. The spinning of the mat trick. You gave me my first tripology ruler. I did. And it is 100% the most useful sewing gift I have had. Um, it's I also get Jane one. Yeah. Basically, anyone who comes to work for me who does any kind of prep is gifted a tripology ruler, and they think I'm being really kind, and I'm like, no, I'm just I won't have to pay you as much because it's not going to take you as long to prep it. And everything's much more accurate. Yeah. And the biggest thing I struggled with as an early quilter was the cutting because I panicked about it. Everybody panics about the cutting. And that was why I loved yeah. Stripology rulers. But trying to get everything square sounds yeah. really easy. But it's really not easy when you've got a ruler, especially when you're little like me. And oh, I have fibromyalgia. The size is coming in. No, oh, no. OK, so I, I'll give you the fibromyalgia. I have fibro and I'm little. So not being necessarily tall and over the top of my ruler that had no non-strip. Are you calling me over the top? <laughs> had no non-slip. How rude. Tall and over the top. Then, um, the worst. Well, you know, I, I, you take that one and wear it because it suits you so well. Um, but I couldn't necessarily get over the top of the fabric and push down and be able to, you know, stop my ruler from slipping around because it had no non-slip grip. But even then, I just love the slots on the stripology. It's you like the bumpers when wrong. you're bowling. <laughs> like it's I, not yeah, no, go it is. It is exactly an that. angle. It's and I did a off. show with the stripology rulers last week at the craft store, and they've got a new presenter. I think he used to do like the big breakfast or something many, many years ago. His name's Richard. I'm sure he's done stuff since. Um, I just don't know. Um, and he had a go, and he cut straight through. He's like, oh, he'd never cut anything in his life. Never cut anything in his Chuffed life. bits, wasn't and he? I think, I think he went through like four or so layers, maybe more. And he's like, oh, can I do more? I'm like, no, that's your demo type get up. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Tracy says it's a game changer. I'm so glad. Um, I wonder if Creative Grids could hook Braille on the strip rulers for those partially sighted that sew. Not me. My sight is fine. But just a thought. Um, I don't know, Elizabeth. If That's I'm honest, I thought. will talk to Rachel about that. Any jobs going, says Pam. Oh, morning, I've been watching for a few minutes, but laptop was being difficult. Tall and over the top. Perfect description. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of which I could ever be accused of, evidently. Small but mighty, that view. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we do have a standing joke, don't we? When I, when, I, when I commission new furniture or something for here, mm -hmm. and I just look at Gemma and go too much <laughs> always like. always is the answer to that always i don't care i like a bit of color i'm not gonna make any apologies for liking color right Gemma. again i'm quite I'm getting quite quest with my rotary cut put it down i'm brandishing it like you know i'm gonna do someone an injury right so i'm not gonna lie tracy makes you cut three and three eighths that was not a happy situation for me at five o'clock this morning Having a car alarm go off from three o'clock. Like, come on. 
three and three eighths. I hate inches. I'm just putting it out there. They're not my friend. Centimeters, I understand. They come in increments of 100. That's easy, right? Tens and 100. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's the kind of maths we like. However, eights, that's my least favorite times table. I don't like it, Gemma. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't like it. If we could just... Anyway, so it's not Tracy's fault. <laughs> It's not her fault. Um, there are square triangles in here. They have to be to give us the beautiful winged shape. Um, but what it means is you're going to have to cut three and three eighths. So that's why um, I have got washi tape on the way. It's not here yet. It should be here today. When mm -hmm. it goes up, you can get some Natasha makes washi tape. I had it designed and everything Amazing. for us. Very exciting. Um, and what I would say do is this a little run of it at three and three eighths so one two three one two three is my three eighths mark there and then what it means Jem is so first of all obviously when you come to cut you're going to just even off those edges just always do it whether it be with your astropology or whatever just do that gets rid of any shonkiness and then I know every time I'm not trying to find that blinking three and three eighths, just going to line it up on my masking tape. And it's not masking tape because it's going to be washi tape. Yours is going to be washi tape. I just have that. Okay. And then cut off your salvagey bits there. And it just, honestly, this just saved me so much time. So much time this morning. So this is my top, top, top tip for you today. We like a top tip, don't we? We do. Jen? And there are certain creative grids that have the three-eighths marker on, don't they? So yeah, the itty bitty rulers. But I, again, I have some of my, most of my creative grids are still at the house. Mm -hmm. So in the absence of that this morning, um, tape was your friend. This was it. Mm. I thought I had my long itty bitty and I didn't. But yeah, so the itty bitty ones. My, oh, I've got the I've got the small itty bitty one. Here we go. Whoop. Oh no, hang on. Show it on the back of. The, oh no, I can't show it on. The, hang on. Let me do this on here, and then you can see what I'm talking about. Possibly, any time. This wants to actually do what I'm asking it to do. There we go. Right. So you can see along that and along there, you've got it. It, it tells you exactly what your eighth of an increment is. And that's what we love them. They're the itty bitty eighths. We've got the square and then we've got it in the long version as well, which was the one that I really needed this morning. That is mm -hmm. at home. Yay, go me. No, the whole thing is just freezing. That's Aww. annoying. That is very annoying. Hmm. The wonder that is technology. Just have a look at my sewing machine for a moment there whilst I uh, sort this. It's a very beautiful out. sewing machine, and actually, that does give us the moment to mention that <laughs> that there SJ that mm -hmm. we love very much spoke to Franklin's Group yesterday, our Dukey supplier. Oh, well, this is very exciting news, isn't it? Yes, it most yes. certainly is very exciting news. Yes. In that um, the new, rather than the pre-used, pre-loved that we supply sometimes, um, the new NX7 seems to be having some restock going on. So anyone who wanted to buy a new NX7, this may well be a possibility for you, which is extraordinarily so exciting. What I would say about that is I know that there are places that do like three increments of payment and you can get it over three months for some people that's okay for some people it isn't for some people they just like to pay it off all in one go the other thing that i would look at um that was brought to my attention the other day is paypal have started doing that you can pay through paypal in increments as well um and other people get a credit card and pay it off over like a year or whatever so because they are a considered purchase there's no getting away from it sure it's a it's a biggie it's a biggie but rather fabulous as well and once you've got one it's the machine that you just don't grow out of absolutely it's just it's there for life 
Now, 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 what have I got left to cut, Gemma What, 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 what? Love some cutting. Oh, square triangles? Yeah. So, so, so. What I would say is get yourself a marker and on one side you're going to mark diagonally across. Now, this is my odd. Oh, so the perfect five is perfect for this. If you've got your perfect five, whip it out now. Whip it out, Gemma. One of our most popular realistic five. It is, isn't five. it? You've Seven got uses. your 45 degree line there, so you're going to line that up anyway. So there it is along that edge there. And then from the middle, out, from the middle, out. So that you're not dragging your fabric and distorting the fabric as you go. So I marked up however many I needed of that. And then right sides together with whatever was needed. And then we're going to go down one side, up the other. Let's have a look for I have some good to go. Look at this, Gemma. Good to go. Let's move all these out of the way. Fabulous. My thing of pins that everyone keeps trying to take away and wash. Put that actually on it. So. I know, so I know. You put them in a mug. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only thing that I had. There we go. Look at me tidying everywhere. So, <clears throat> chain piecing is your friend right now. So, the reason that Tracy has given you the measurements that she has is because you don't have to be super accurate. Right? right so there's, right. you don't have to pin everything in place. We're going to go quarter of an inch away from that line. Whoop, there we go. Oh, no, there. There we go, and down again. So the edge of my quarter of an inch foot is on the line so that I'm stitching quarter of an inch away. But Tracy has done this so that there is wiggle room. Jen, what do we like in life? Have a bit of wiggle room. We love a bit of wiggle room, and that is what we've got here. What do you do with that wiggle room? There we go. And then spin it around and go down the other side. Okay, so that's my drawn line, that's my stitch line. I'm going to stitch this side now, and away I go. So once you have all of the, these techniques under your belt, you're going to be well away. And just chain piecing them all. These are the last ones that I needed to do today. If you have a rotating cutting mat, by the way, it's really handy for these but it's not essential. It's on kind of a list of would like to have type things. So there they are, they look like weird bunting. And then we cut. And again, this is why the perfect five, or if you've got your little itty bitty, that's another great size for it as well. All good, all good. Um, you're also going to need they look like they belong on the bottom of a kite. They do, don't <laughs> they? Absolutely. Oh, so makes cute. people Mary Poppins. Yeah. I could do Mary Poppins. Now, the other thing is, I tend to then pile them up with the dark side on the top and put them to one side. The other thing that you can do, by the way, is, and what I found really helps, just press your blade against. Now, when you've got your two lines there, what I tend to do is twist it and then you can easily cut where it twists. Okay. Yeah? So you don't have mm. to try and 
because otherwise yeah clever can you see you've got two lines and mm -hmm. you, you you can snip off the edge of it whereas if you just twist it done that was my genius moment this morning Gemma a little aha moment do you remember aha uh -huh. I, mean, I knew that was coming <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean like Alan Partridge no 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 you knowing mean, like, me knowing me, you aha uh -huh. uh -huh. I mean like take on me yeah. absolutely you know that's another reference that SJ won't she might she'll she tell think? us off later and go I did I did no I, I did, did I did I did yeah. we haven't told her we've ordered her lunch Oh, we did order her lunch. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, she says, <laughs> she I, know I know that the one. The voice from the office. I know that I one. Ha. Huh? Did you know that we also ordered your lunch with um, lovely Jane at the cafe? You have a sausage roll and beans waiting for you yeah. later. We said it's for our, our office child. <laughs> <laughs> we adore SJ. We do. We, we love look her, after her very, very much. Well. But she's so much younger than us. She's our office child, which is why we make sure that her well, sausage roll and baked beans are ordered on a Wednesday. Well, and also, in. If she, when she gets to the afternoon, if her sugar drops, if she hasn't had enough. Oh, food, she gets proper hangry. And, and the little lip goes. And oh, yeah, no, you know. I was running around like an idiot the one day and went past the desk. I never let her forget this because she just looked at me. She was wrapped in a quilt whilst <laughs> typing on her laptop. And she just looked up and went, oh, are you, are you going to make me a cup of tea? <laughs> And I just laughed and went, apparently, yes. Apparently, yes. <laughs> that's that's what's going on I here. Love her so much. Amazing. <laughs> um, oh, there you go. Claire gets her boys to trim the threads. Adam especially loves to help. Them. Yeah. Um, I would, but I think we can all remember the situation with Freddie and the scissors. And the hair. And his hair. Mm. That was a beautiful one. The mullet moment. And it helps if I actually turn that on. Um, the mullet has actually now grown out. Yes. Obviously, now that there's no school photos anywhere in sight. That's going to be a 12-month situation now, isn't it? Was it about a year ago that he did that? No, it wasn't that long. Oh, are you sure? I don't know. It took mm. a long time to grow up because he proper cut it right next to it was scalp. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. So then you're just going to press them all open. Pile. I've got everything in piles, as you can see. <laughs> I've got piles. That's not nice, is it? No. Um, I've got everything in piles. That's what I'm trying to say. Much nicer. Much nicer. Less painful. There we go. And then... Um, Quite excited about seeing this makeup because I think the bumbleberries are going to give it a little bit of texture going on there. And then the beautiful new like, Riley Blake as well. Oh, I haven't shown that fabric. You I'm going to show that fabric before I clear the desk down. Yeah. Because, Gem, 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 Gem. I am. Um, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this onto grids. Yeah. So that quilters grid. Now, as I'm doing here, the iron just goes on the stitches just to set those stitches into the fabric. Always, and this is this is proper quilting 101 beginner mm -hmm. stuff, isn't it? But just to step that, and then, and I'm lucky. This is quite heavy iron, so it's just a, a thud. It's not a ee job. Claire's saying, which iron is that? I need a new yeah, one. This thing. is the Polti Vaporella. I think it's about 80 quid on Amazon. But all the other ones kept breaking. So I was like, right, I will actually, actually invest some money in a proper iron. It gets commented on a lot, our iron. But it's just got a really nice weight to it and a cork handle. So that it doesn't, yes, it gets hot, but it does, but your hand doesn't get hot. It's ace, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you really do feel the difference after you've had some really cheap rubbish ones and then you get this and you go, oh, well that feels rather lovely in my hand. And that's the one. Gemma, what are you having for lunch today? I'm going to say whatever they've got available because it's been a bit, you know, busy, busy over there the last few days. We did and have very nice have coriander soup, didn't we, yesterday? That was stunning. Really and the steak good slice was oh, I good. didn't have the steak slice. I had the steak slice. You, you had a battered, a battered baguette. I battered did. baguette? <laughs> oh, that would be revolting. Butter, a battered oh. baguette. Mm. Someone, somewhere, we'll is now it. going to have a go at a battered baguette. Yeah. And if it becomes the next thing, like a battered Mars bar... You heard it You'll be first, missed, right? won't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. That you didn't get credit for it. Well, I mean... There are things in life to take credit for, right? <laughs> um, 
and possibly not. Right, so we have that is pretty much our prep done. Apart from the fact that we now need to trim back all of our half square triangles from this size to this size so that everything is two and a half inches. Again, your perfect five is your friend here. If you have a rotating cutting mat, whip it out now. If you do not, well, put it on your Christmas list. And, 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 instead, whip out your perfect five, okay? So, your 45 degree line goes, can you see it there? There's your 45 degree line, goes on the line. Now, what you can see, this is why the Perfect Five is so great, because, I'm going to have to show this on a close-up then. Here we go. What you've got along here is that your two and a half inch, I don't know if you can see, but it's got almost a slightly heavier mark along there to that two and a half inch. So that's going to help me really trim it up. So my my middle line, my bias line there, that's going to go through. Now, when I put this on and trim back first time, my fabric will be beyond that two and a half inch mark. Then when I spin it for the second cut, it will line up perfectly on that second on that two and a half. Let me show you. So you can see there's my two and a half inches there and there, and my fabric overlaps on both sides. I'm going to cut up. I'm going to step to one side, cut across. Get your body rocking with this. If you don't have a rotating cutting mat, body rock is what I would say to you. Now I'm lining up on my two and a half, on my two and a half. What do I mean by that? You need to always be cutting away from yourself, all right? And if you don't have a rotating cutting mat, and this is just for safety as much as anything else, then what you want to do is line it up so that you can easily cut away, then step to one side, angle your body so that you are then cutting away. And it, I, sound, I sound like I'm lecturing people, but it is important, isn't it, Jack? Very important. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. All these little tips make all the difference. So cutting away, step to the side, angle your body so that when you go in there, you're cutting away. Otherwise, if you don't go at that angle, you're going to chip your blade on the edge of the ruler as well. And that just gets expensive. There's no need for that. No need, I tell you. No need. And, um, and I quite like this. This gets to be quite therapeutic, really. And again, because you've got your non-slip grip on there, as you do with all of your rulers, it's all good. It's all good. We will probably have to come back to cutting these as and when we need them. Just missed a thread there. There we go. And see where we get to. For there are a lot. A lot, let me tell you. We've had people asking, you know, are, is the Tom Tay suitable for beginners? Is this suitable for beginners? So and all of these quilts are done in exactly the same way. I could have demoed any of them this way. And um, absolutely, absolutely. That's the beauty of her patterns, really. It is, yeah. Confidence builders, these are, I feel. And um, I'm going to show you two ways to do them as well. So again, proper confidence givers, whichever way you like. Now, when Jane did the B, we hadn't got the quilters grid, had we? That no, was not a thing no. that we had in our life because I remember when I came to demo the stag, she said to me, well, that would have sped everything up mm -hmm. a lot. So again, it might be it might be for you. It might not be, but I'll show you both ways. Do, 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 do. Let me just do this last one. And we're all good to go. I can't just leave one, Gem. No. Would be wrong. Tracy's saying that they are most definitely suitable for beginners. Some of her pattern testers were beginner quilters and they loved them and made some gorgeous quilts. Oh, amazing. <laughs> See, there you go. Lo's been asleep. Oh, it's Wednesday. Where's Jane? <laughs> She's having a holiday, Lo. We let her out. <laughs> we did. 
We're told that if you let people go, if they love you, they'll come back. <laughs> In actual fact, what happened was we all went, Jane, Jane, you need to take some holidays coming yeah, towards no. the end of the year. Have some holiday, woman. <laughs> we did also do that. Yeah. So she's having a week off. They're going somewhere, aren't they? They'll go somewhere. Well, I think uh, she did say she's going to be at home quite a bit as well. And oh, I thought they were going on she, a... She said to me, um, ring me if you need me, ring me if you need me. You know, if you need to know where anything is or anything. And I was like... No, Jane, uh, no. we will not. No. You'll have a well-earned break. Right. OK, so let's come to the first bit of genius. That is... Tracy's pattern. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've tick, 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 tick. We've done that. We've made our half square triangles. Hooray. Now the quilt. So each of these has one of these. And for every single line, you get a key telling you what you need. Okay. So here I need <coughs> 30, 30, Gemma, 30 mm -hmm. green squares. Da, 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 da. It's OK, because <laughs> I've cut a million of them <laughs> this morning now, now. in quick succession. Exaggeration much. 300 and something, not a million. Well, actually more, because I, I cut more than I need. So right. if you are going to do this the traditional way, you will place them right sides together, and then you will go to your little sewing machine, and you will stitch. What I would suggest you do, quarter of an inch, is do all 15 pairs. And then once you've got your pairs, pair the pairs. Pair the pairs? Pair the pairs. Then you can chain piece. And chain just chain piece. piece so like I'm doing there, just chain piece. Oh, good morning, so. Shirley. She's only just joined us. She says, morning, what is the Shirley. finished B quilt dimensions, please? The B quilt is 55, 55. inches by 55 inches. And um, actually, Shirley, today, when you buy a pattern of Tracy, she's very kindly uh, given us permission to do them buy one, get one half price on all Hurrah. of her patterns. Hurrah. Um, there are four. There is the Muth <laughs> that mm. you see behind her, Natasha, mm. which she's demonstrating. The Tom Tay, who's been hanging out back there for the last couple of days, looking fabulous. Uh, the Bee, which you've just mentioned, and also the Stag. So we have four Yeah, do check patterns. them out. They are all on the website. Now, let me just show you this, OK? Um, because we've sewn and we've pressed, OK? So then what we're going to do, just get that in, is try and make sure that when we press, we're pressing all to the same side. So if they're all going that way, then you're going to want to kind of try and keep it going that way. And oh no, she's pressing it completely the wrong way. But just try and do a line so that they're all going the same way. Because if you've got the, all the seams going one way on one line, and then you do all the seams pressed that way, the opposite way, for the next one, then when you put flip them and you put them together to do your sew, your sew your lines together, then those those bits will nest. But if 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 that feels like a really massive task, and that's fine, we've got a cheat for you. It's not really a cheat; it's more of an aid. So we're going to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what it is. Now, I'm going to strip everything off the desk um, and I'm going to press directly onto the desk. Obviously, you press onto, you know, your whatever it is. But let me just move everything out of the way. Sewing machine and everything, Gem, it's all got to come off. Now, we had lots of people asking about the book cushion as well. The book cushion has sold out as the, um, as the panel. However... We do still have the actual book fabric. We've got that and we've got all of the text that was in the middle of the pocket and on the back. So you can make up your own. I have popped a little recommendation of how you could replicate it in the comments. If anyone wants to have a little scroll through, you'll there find you that there the uh, recommended fabrics there. 
Yeah, then. Okay. So what am I doing? Good question, good question, good question. I am sorting myself out so that across the desk I can lay out my um, my bits and bobs. I am going to have to trim some of these back at some point. Now, obviously you at home will press onto you know, a proper mat or whatever. I'm just going to do it onto here for now. Do as I say, not as I do. I know, I know, I know, I know. But only because I can't get an angle on an ironing board. It's fine. It's fine. Well, hang on. That was a quick clean. There it is. Every time, every time I actually, I accidentally come across my, uh, my little lens cloth. Ooh, it's amazing. I actually see. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm off to get my glasses this afternoon. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, you've got to leave early, haven't you? You've got to go and get that. Get that done. Get that done, girl. That'll be a good thing done. Are you excited about it? I am. Have you not had glasses before? Uh, yeah, I've only got a very slight prescription. Right. So I've always sort of had them and gone, meh, I'll, I'll, I might wear them a bit. But, yeah, I'm, but I'm really determined. Determined to wear this pair. No. I'm right. on that borderline, could have, don't necessarily need, but could. Mm. And with this whole giddiness thing, we're hoping the giddiness One thing might settle a little. Now, the grid. <gasps> I know. So this is this is what we're talking about here, and you can basically it's an interfacing. Um, as you can see on it, it's got a grid every two inches. Someone said to me the other day, "Well, doesn't it come in a two and a half inch grid?" No, it doesn't. It comes in two inches. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. You've got to work it out from there. Use the horizontals to line everything up. And just know that, um, it, yeah, it's just going to work. Okay. Yeah. When Janet showed us this from Lee Selina. Oh, yeah, we got super excited, oh. didn't we? Oh. Really excited. Yes. Do you know what, though, Jen? I don't know if I've actually got enough here. Another roll. To, uh, Different roll. Well, it was the end of the roll. End of the roll. But... We can get another roll for it if you need one. Do you know what? Got a little SJ in the other room with a very fabulous young legs that can run and grab some. Very fabulous young legs. Yeah. Look, I've got, got a big some piece, other lefty Avery bits. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Beautiful. You can sew these together. So if you don't have quite a long enoughy bit, you can sew them together. All right. And just get yourself nicely set up. And if you want to. You know, put yourself your, um, you can do this on your ironing board, actually on your ironing board. Do you know what else is quite good right now, Jim? Fabric weights. Just to hold everything down until we get going. So, let's get those on board. And so we can begin. Right. We so we open up our pattern and we go right. Number one. Thirty. Thirty of these. And we're gonna start. If you need to put a little piece of white paper or something underneath so you can actually see the lines, then do. No one is going to mind. But I'm just going to go right. One, two. I can see even on the desk I can see it. Four five six seven and look I can see that underneath I've got to do exactly the same. Eight nine. A long one. Eleven. But keeping it lined up on that line as you go. Now, as I go, 
because I know that these are all green, like if I want to, I can just, just, just um, pop a little bit of heat on there. The thing with this is The prim iron is your friend on these. And I might just swap across to my prim mini iron because it's much smaller. And that is going to work an absolute treat. Um, if you've got some uh, baking paper, parchment paper, that's the one. Either some parchment paper or, 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 the other thing that you can use is your Teflon, your Teflon, what have you, then get that out because, and here's mine, what you're going to be able to do then, and you can do this then with your big iron, is properly get that heat on just to get that adhesion going, okay? The nice thing with your prim mini iron is that it does have um, a two meter. Did you know that, Jen? Two. Look at oh gosh, look at all the rubbish on here. Um, is a two meter uh, lead, which is fab. This is really grubby. It's just the sign it. of a well loved, well used item, isn't it? <sighs> it certainly <laughs> is. I don't know what on earth I was doing with it before. I think I was doing some of the kids' crafts with it. Hey -hoo. But yeah, it does then just mean... Multi-purpose. Yeah, but you don't want to gunk up your iron with it. But if you use something that is non-stick, be it your Teflon pressing sheet or um, parchment baking paper, it will then just do the job and peel off afterwards, which is fab. And you can just press them down as you go. And the nice thing then is that as you start to build this up, do it with a clean one, for goodness sake, so don't make a mess out of me. We'll do this, we'll keep, we'll keep going. We won't do the full 30, we'll just build it up on the screen as you can see. So you would then, if you're sewing these, you'd sew them as 30, right? If you're doing it, then you can just stick them in place. So we'd go along then, the next line here, 30 again. And you line them up all the way along. Every other line will be on a solid line. But if you just line this up with the ones above, then you're going to be absolutely fine. And the beauty about this is that when we actually come to sew it, it just folds and you're going to get the perfect seams anyway. So this is your, it's a bit of a cheat little bit of a cheat. It's not a cheat. It's I'm trying to think of a better way to say it. <laughs> it's it, a tool. Yes. It's just a tool. It's just it's a, a method. Tool. Working smart. Smarter not harder. Yeah. That's the one. And so you start to build it up. Now obviously as I've just shown you can stitch these into your lines and that's what Tracy does and that's what Tracy's always done. Or you can do it like this. So you'd go along for your whole 30, but we'll be here all day if I do that. Then this, and you tick it off, by the way, as you go. And then the next one, let's start to look what we've got. So it's telling me I need to get 20 green. And then I'm going to need um, two of the like beigey ones. A couple of those. I'm going to need a green and a ginger. one of those two of those in fact and I'm gonna need two green and cream or green and ginger <gasps> don't know don't know don't know don't know a couple of those and what else Ooh, a couple of those right so you're basically building it sideways on that way, I guess. No. No. This is just oh. the next the next line. So one, two, green. One, two, 
is your green. And then what we're doing is this top line oh, okay. along here. One. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the first one that I need is a green and a ginger. So a green and a ginger. Nice. And that's going to go in following the pattern. That's going to go in like that. And then I need a ginger and a one of those. And that is then going to, can you see, gotcha. we just then start to build up. Then the next one here is going to be a, oh, I don't know if I've done these ones yet. I haven't done them yet. Oh, yes, I haven't trimmed it back. <laughs> ah. Claire Angeline is saying back. very easy to follow if like me you look like a good chart that's the thing yeah no and you do it yeah is brilliant, it is it? it is a good chart and actually especially if you do it like this um, the kids can help they'd love to help and Pat says she's had that iron for three to four years great oh what the pole tea? I think the little one Oh, the Primini iron. Mm, yeah. Postage, yeah. They are, um, they are, for me, they are the best mini iron in the business. I've tried lots. They are also steam irons, mini steam irons as well, which is just fab. And um, they just, they make all the difference for sure. So if we come back over here. Then what we can see is that we've now starting to get, that's the top with the ginger. Then that flash of white, yeah? And we're still following our pattern. We've started with the sort of taupey beigey colour. And that's going in there. So we need one of those. And then we need one going the other way, but with a green. So, with a green? Yes, with a green. Ah, oh, have I cut one of those back yet? No, I have not. So, as and when, I'm just going to have to trim these back, aren't I? I think I've trimmed back all the ones for later on in the project. Well done, me. I love these colours. They're so soft. Yeah, they are. Beautiful. They really are. Really and, um, and the bumbleberries is just a triumph. Look at that. It's going to give a nice little depth, isn't it? As is, actually, that pretty paisley. So, what we then get... And again, it's just a matter of starting to watch. So this is the first bit along here. And then what I would do with this, because you know you've got your 30. If you've done your 30 along there, I would come in from the other end. Mm -hmm. But I know that for now. Let's just fill this with the green. And also count out your piles, especially if you're doing this with the kids. Then count them out and give them to them to lay out. They love it. And they can really do this. So then the next line. So you would go along and finish all the way along that mm -hmm. line, by the way. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we've got enough, haven't we, to just fill in the blanks here, just for now. Claire Angelina says the only iron I own is a mini iron. I don't do any clothes ironing, so I don't need no. a big one. No, no. No, no, why would you? No. Gosh, 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 no. <laughs> it's an unnecessary evil, I feel. <laughs> you can feel clever about the fact. I mean, yeah, if you've got shirts, like office shirts and stuff that you have to iron, then that's fair enough. Right, so the next one now, we're going to go in two green. Yep. Yeah. green and if you're happy that you've got it right just press these down so they don't go anywhere Julia's found a flaw with the uh, prim mini iron in that they don't bounce very well apparently oh. they didn't think of that it didn't like nose diving onto her tiles oh <laughs> no no it's oh. not going to enjoy that oh. I will be honest no lack don't of bounceability aside though we love that little thing <laughs> right so you can see this one I'm here I've done my gingery one, my whitey one, and now I'm into there. One, two, three. I'm going to go in with these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two and three paisley is beautiful as well look at it yeah i know i know yes, i know lovely and now now i need to go in another one with my cream and green it's it is a lovely soft combo and you know butterflies they're great but people always do them in sort of pinks and purples and stuff mm -hmm. and if that's not your colorway it's not going to suit everyone or if you've got men in the house that maybe don't want pink and purple everything i think this would look lovely in a conservatory absolutely wouldn't it yeah definitely yeah. and so onwards we go we can really see how this will start to come together yeah it's quite it's just like a giant jigsaw such a lovely make isn't it mm. it really is and we've digitized these as well so we've got the digital versions available for those who love them i know you know we quite often don't we get people ask is there going to be a digital of this one this one this one do you know we we do and um, um when there aren't the only time that we tend to not do digital is just if there's a pattern uh, like a template or something mm -hmm. that needs printing off that's just going to be a bit of a pain but these patterns being traces and not ours you no know, we've handed them over to josh and got them digitized yeah they? and and she's really really happy for that to be the case yeah gosh this is really grubby what on earth did I do with it? <laughs> so sorry. It looks like lots of creative fun. <laughs> no, but I've got That's all what sorts you of did. I think I must have done something with the kids. Do you know what? I'm going to actually just fold it in half. Yeah. So that, there we go. Good plan. There we go. So A, I won't ruin my iron. Might and treat B, you to a new one, eh? If I, I, they're in the warehouse somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they are. It, Claire, it really will shrink when it comes together. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. So for those of you going, but you haven't done any sewing. Thought this was a quilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you in one second. So you can start getting all of this. And then it's just, it's just so much easier, especially if you have a busy household or anything like that. You know that everything is down where it needs to be. Obviously, you will press onto a mat of some shape, size, or description. Yeah, no doing this on a dining room table. No. It won't thank you for it. But what you can do is put your pressing mat underneath. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, even if you just get these stuck down a bit, then it's fine then to just move around after that. There we go. So when you've got it in place, and by the way, someone said, well, mine doesn't stick, but they were trying to do it. So there's one side where the grid is really obvious, and then there's the other side which has little glue dicky, sticky dots on. And uh, there we go. And the beauty of this is that you can see before you stitch any of it that you've got it all in the right place. So that's, this is a really easy way to do it if you are a beginner. Now when you've got this all set out, what you would then do is fold it. See, I've got, it, I've got my mat on it now, which doesn't help. You'd fold it and then you stitch your quarter of an inch along there and then you fold it down to the next one and you stitch your quarter of an inch along there and then when you've done it all the rows you fold it there and you stitch a quarter of an inch all your columns and then you fold it there so rows well it doesn't matter if you rows or columns first it really doesn't matter at all but what that gives you is your absolute perfect squares and let's show you what this then looks like now if you want to trim open 
than you can and press everything flat than you can. Now you can see where I've on his squares are perfect. They are absolutely perfect. Everyone's saying you're making it look so easy. We'll have to try this. But and this that genuinely is the back is, of it. it. I'm, I'm not going to do any more of this. I'm going to do this with Emily and Freddie. Mm -hmm. And they're going to absolutely love it. Um, so what you can do, when I say cut it open, and I didn't because I did this one in a, strange enough, in a rush. Um, find yourself a little pair of scissors. I mean, I've only got a million somewhere, Gem. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Um, but get yourself a little pair of sharp scissors when you can find them. Seriously. <laughs> Are those precision applique ones there in the twirly whirly towards the side? Not. Main section towards the back, towards me. No. Oh, I forgot it twizzles. They're not. No, they're. The, I mean, that might work going in, but it's not ideal. Mm. But. What you want to do is get in between those seams and cut cut them over. And then you can just press it open if you wish. But go in with something sharp. Oh, honestly, of all the scissors that I own in the world, where are my <laughs> sharp ones? I think I did it on like the first one, you can see. And you can just press that open. And then it, it just, all it does is reduce bulk. That's all you're doing. But it depends how you want to um it depends how you want to quilt it and what it's doing. If it's going to be a wall hanging, quite frankly it doesn't matter. No. It really doesn't matter. Tracy's saying she needs to try this method. Do you know what Tracy give it is quite fun. It is quite fun. It's just that for me I didn't have time to sew everything into pairs and da 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 da, da. Whereas actually to press that down and there it is, and it is perfect every time. Stunning. There it is. Stunning. So that's the stag. We've got kits on all of these. And of course we've got the discount when you buy two of the patterns. Um, thank you, Tracy, for that. And uh, yeah, so that is that. Oh, but your stripology rulers, sure. your perfect fives, they are the ones, for sure. Mm -hmm. And they're very, very, very beautiful Riley Blakes as well. Oh, oh, I still haven't shown those, have I? I keep they forgetting. Need to be seen. Oh, right. So they the reason that these seen. are on the show is because we've used these in this fabric. But let me show you these. They came in and they are, what have they got on them, Gem? The Murph. The Murphs. <laughs> and these are available by the half meter. By the half meter. This is the Riley Blake Sonnet Dusk Collection. Oh, they're beautiful. And this is Moths in Blush. Now, Gem, here's the thing, right? And I have to point this out to everybody, that the tone of the moth, the myth, um, in these, and this was another reason that we were super careful, mm -hmm. goes exactly mm -hmm. with the colourways we've gone in here. We took okay. our inspiration, didn't we? So, yeah. if you wanted to back yours in a myth, <laughs> then you can. Did we decide it was a metre and a half? It oh. was because it was the width of it, you can go a single width when we looked at it. How wide is it? Let me have a look. But I just, I just love these colourways. And then you've got that beautiful pink spot as well. The brownie spot is there, and we've used most of that in these kits, to be fair. But there is some that you can buy by the half metre. But I think, well, that was the wine one that I did with it, with the stripes. I'll show you that. But you've got the teal or you've got the pink. I just think it's a beautiful grown-up design. I think really Riley's beautiful. done well, done very well this time. The finished quilt behind yep. you, the moth, is 60 by 40, so two metres would give you a lovely bit for your stash as well. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, you could make a little bag then, couldn't you, to sort of... Or a cushion or, you know, yeah. something to go with. But the colours are just exquisite. We love these very much. Oh, this is the one. 
The stripes. Yeah, stripes. I love the stripes. Mm -hmm. Um, Gemma said, I had to fold it <laughs> quite quite carefully, Natasha, because something had occurred. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> had been chopping at this one. This is the Sonnet Dusk main fabric in taupe. You will get a bit that hasn't been chopped at by me. Um, <laughs> no, well, that made my, uh, that made my wine holder. I'm not going to apologise for that. And this as well. Yeah, the stripe and teal. You were always going to be all over that one. I know, I know, I know. Well, I thought it made my uh, I thought it made my bottle holder very grown up, so I went with those two. But you see, those two colourways together are really beautiful too. But then you see, you've also got the spot which would look just fabulous with it, and all of these and the topes and that. I just love that meh. Um, I'm going to back mine in one of these, one of the meh ones. Yeah, definitely, for sure, for definitely. sure, for sure. So that's what we've got on the show for you. Thank you, Gemma, for gently nudging me because I'd completely forgotten about that. <laughs> I was quite involved in my mirth. You just um, couldn't wait to get going on the moth, could you? It was this was the thing. I could just I know, and I kept promising, didn't I? And I'll show you this I'm fabric. I'll show you this fabric. I am. Getting on with the moth. Um, anything I need to know for everybody? But it's it's just one of those projects you just want to get cracking on, isn't it? For sure. So uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, book name amendment. Natasha makes it so S E W oh. easy. Oh, nice, Elizabeth. What have you done there? Um, oh my, you have cotton eating moths. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't start that rumour. It's just this Her big name is Natasha. Here. <laughs> and she goes this at things moth. with a rotary cutter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do, I do. Morning, Anna June and Lisa. Good morning. Um, Tracy, give this go a method. No, give this method a go. That's the way around. Uh, <laughs> All the words. <laughs> what is wrong? I have no words. No teeth. Uh, well, I've got teeth. All my own teeth. teeth in. All my own teeth and hair and everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing well, right? Um, and eyebrows too, yeah, just to show off. Uh, right, 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 everybody. I mean, it's all right. You've only got another show to do this week. I mean, you know. We do have another show to do this <laughs> week. So Friday at 10 o'clock. Uh, do you know what? It just doesn't feel quite like the end of the month. That's why I keep forgetting. It's Christmas Eve, a month today. And that is a big problem, isn't it? when you're not really geared up to it being the end of November yet? I'm not actually geared up for it being the end of August yet, no, if I'm honest. No. I don't actually know where this year has gone. It's been a bit of a busy one. I was outraged about two days ago at having to get a coat and put a coat on, and then I went, yeah. hang on a minute, it's, it's actually November. the end of November. Of November. course We've I need a coat. We've done okay. We yeah. have done okay. Um, but we have guests on a takeover on Friday. We've got lovely Rachel in. She's going to do... A no pattern skirt. Mm. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, these would look rather, yeah, rather gorgeous in that. And then the week after, the first week of December, we get the new Liberty fabrics in. We do. And they would also look rather special in Rachel's skirt. They would. Mm. So, so, so. Do join us on Friday. I know that we forget, don't we, when it's a guest designer takeover, but it's always the last Friday of the month. And I think just because it falls, it falls on the 26th, it doesn't feel like it's quite the end of the month. Yes, but agreed. it is the last Friday of the month. Agreed. So we've got Rachel in 10 o'clock. She's very excited. This is a, one of her first patterns for Magnolia, so Magnolia sewing. So we will be, mm -hmm. we'll be launching those here 10 o'clock on Friday. And who knows, Gemma, what other fabulous fabrics we will have found by then. I think Anna Maria Horner fabrics would look amazing in this skirt. Always some fabulousness. Always, always. The echinacea. Or the big mm -hmm. prints. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, but for those of you, oh, I've also got some beautiful extra wide backing fabrics that have come in, which will be perfect. So yes, I will show you all of these and more on Friday here with Rachel. Yes, take care. Have a fabulous rest of your day and uh, we will see you end of the week. Bye bye. Oh, 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 and I will um, check out Facebook because I'll pop up all the Half Meet Heaven. I just didn't get a chance.